Hello, my beautiful Pisceans. I hope that you're all doing well. And I just want to say I'm so excited to get into your beautiful energy, Pisces. I always look forward to your reading. I always leave feeling refreshed. It's the last reading I do, and I always leave it feeling so good. So thank you. I want to thank you all for that. So we're doing things a little bit differently this time. I did a collective reading uh, for the full moon eclipse in Capricorn and I did the astrology with that as a standalone video. This is going to be for a two week period. No astrology attached unless it shows up in the reading in which case I will talk about it. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Pisces and this is a general reading. So it won't resonate with everyone. If it is resonating, however, I want this to be a very personal experience for you. I will show you each card and you know, pay attention to how it makes you feel, what comes up, right? If you uh, are drawn to a certain image in it, pay attention to that. What is that telling you? Um, if you think about a memory, a person, a movie, right? All of those things. Explore that because that is your intuition. All right. Let's see what chakra you need to pay the most attention to during this period. The crown chakra, peace, oh, and love. <laughs> peace and love, Pisces. I love that. Uh, so that is the heart chakra and we will take a look at the underlying energies at the end of the reading and see what kind of message they all have together but this is the beautiful lotus the thousand petaled lotus at the crown of your head this is your connection to spirit so spirit is wanting you to know all is well <laughs> Love is all around you. You are being supported. And they're recognizing your connection with them. Yeah, I definitely get that. And it's sitting on the flower. The lotus speaks of rebirth. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, let's get an artist. This artist... Uh, my intention is that it does have a message for you outside of this reading as well. If you so choose to look at their life. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Um, their life, their music, right? Look them up. See what, what you're drawn to. And it will have a very specific message for you. I like to explore things that I don't know too, right? That's usually a good way. And then we have Michael Jackson at the bottom of the deck. So Frank here, especially with this love here on the bottom, and even in the description of this, it talks about that this can be an indication of twin flame. And for, for some reason, Frank, He's my, my twin flame guy. You know, we've got New York. New, it's like this double image, right? Everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Fly yourself to the moon of your choice. You only get one shot at life. So aim high. I'm also, you know, it's like purple and orange here. So there's this intuition, right? Pay attention to your emotions. There's a lot of sparkly energy here and here as well. Speak peace, right? He's got the microphone here. All right, let's see what else comes out here. And I am drawn to use the fairies. I feel like the fairies have a message for you. 
I have this feeling that the tarot of the she will wait until I get ready, but I have this feeling that I'm really feeling drawn to it. And the, <laughs> I have it way over there at the end because I wasn't really, it's like a lot of these decks I didn't expect to use this time. I've been using. It's been kind of strange. <laughs> but I just listen to what, what spirit uh, pulls me to. All right. Ooh. Okay. What do we have for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces, please? Whoa! <laughs> That's the second time it's done that this time. It's like, the, and, you know, those last cards hardly ever come out of my hands, but it's like it, it, they've just been knocked out, right? I'm getting ready to hit them in there, and it's like as I'm doing it, it just gets knocked out. It's so strange. Hmm, we have the friends at the bottom of the deck. I used this deck for who was it it was cancer hmm and they had the friends at the bottom of, of the deck so that's curious and they had the collective of pixies i don't see them they got the fawn in their reading hmm interesting which is earth magic natural magic right Let's see what we've got here we've got ooh, the singer of healing Lacey Moon's daughter, Penelope Dreamweaver, Tobira of the Waters, and a collective of pixies. They got the Pyra of the Waters too. Very curious. And the eights are standing. We've got 38, 28, 48. We've also got 37, 38 here. I always find that significant. Of it's going backwards. And these were things, this was kind of like hidden from us, right? It's like, ah, uh, <laughs> this is already coming up to me. Like, um, you know, the changes that are happening uh, with the collective, right? A collective of pixies. This is, and, uh, you know, this isn't affecting you directly, right? But as we know, Pisces, you all are, you know, the waters. And what's going on with the collective is definitely, you know, so pay attention to those emotions, right? Because they're probably not yours. And I get this feeling that they don't want you to... take those on, right? Like, hmm, I, I, we'll, we'll get back to that because it is like, we're going 38, 37. It's like we're going backwards. We're going backwards to go forwards. Interesting. 38, 28, 37, 48. <laughs> okay. And we've got the 10. Ah, because these are, it's, by, they're all separated by 10 healing we're making leaps wow so i'm getting kind of a you know these this is kind of like you know we had the reading where you all were healing the collective through you know, crying and tears and, and such that you, you kind of processed and transmuted the pain of the collective. It was face down here, which makes me feel, and the Tabara of the Waters is about change as well. So I feel with these cards right here that the way that you heal is changing. And... We ha because we've got the Singer of Healing here in the beginning. And then we have Lacey Moon's Daughter and Penelope Dreamweaver. And I feel like you're going to be getting like guidance through a dream, right? The moon is about the subconscious. Um, she's also a bit of a trickster. So, you know, and it's it's about... Paying attention to the signs, but with Penel her coming out beside Penelope Dreamweaver, I really get this feeling 
that you're going to receive information. And the information might be healing, right? We, I, this also feels like a, a transmission, right? With this piece, the, the, uh, shoot. <laughs> Mercury retrograde has been uh, really affecting me through the crown. But I really feel like, you know, it's through the subconscious, right? So it could very literally be a dream. And I know I get messages through my dreams. I'm sure you all do as well. But it could come in other ways as well. Just pay attention, right? You'll know, right? Because I feel like Pisces is very in tune. Wow. You know, I'm just like... <laughs> The color scheme is is here as well. It's really showing up kind of, you know, there might be support from, you know, if any of you uh, connect with the Twin Flame journey, I feel like there's some kind of help. And there might even, you know, this might even come through this, right? It's like, it's very curious. This is very... Uh, I'm curious to see what else comes out here because I really feel like something about the way that you heal is changing. And they kind of want you to, and I feel like you'll definitely get some, some hits, some messages about it because I feel like they want you to kind of put it on hold, right? With it coming out face down, I feel like they want you to put it on hold. And to not let the, the energies of the collective affect you. And you might not even be feeling it, right? Because it was face down. <sighs> Let's see what else comes out. Because this is really... Yeah, let's go with the Tarot of the She. I had that feeling. <laughs> the She really liked to talk to you all. The fairies love you guys. It's that old earth energy. They love you. For Pisces, please. Messages do you have for Pisces? Yeah, kind of like relearning something. And it, this has come up in, in someone else's uh, before, too. But there's this kind of like, you know, taking a step back, kind of forgetting what you know. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We're starting out with the Ten of Pentacles here. The Five of Cups at the bottom. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's the completion of a cycle, right? Hmm. What do you have for Pisces, please? Messages for Pisces. Whoa. <laughs> they did it again! Jeez. Alright. But this one stayed in here, which is the next step up, which is the Six of Cups, Born of Joy. Okay. Let's see what we got. We have the Four of Swords, Dream of Four, at the bottom. Restoration. I love that Four of Swords. It's just beauty to me. Okay, let's see what we've got. Hmm. This came out and crossed. Mm-hmm. Interesting. The eight of what of you know water <laughs> cups was crossing Frank here. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's everything. Yeah, okay. I'm going to move 
this out just a little bit more since Okay, so this is really interesting. <clears throat> and I do feel like um, there is, and I think they're kind of alluding to it here with this energy. And I'll get to it. I'll get to it. All right, so they started out with this maker 10 the 10 of pentacles kingdom prospers and i feel like this is reiterating what i was saying about this card i really feel like they're just celebrating you here they're like you uh, you you know they're crowning you and this is about spiritual completion I think, right? The completion of a spiritual cycle that, you know, and I, they're holding this uh, blossom here, a lotus blossom here. I just noticed. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like this, this card came out by itself to say, you know, you've done the work, you've completed this work you know or a a section of it right <laughs> we start a new one here but uh, you know and they want to bring you a gift right sorry and so i feel like this dancer nine nine of cups says make a wish <laughs> and so you know what do you want right and I, I think this is you here you know making your wish we have the same background here right this is one of the wishes here and this is you making it and you're going you know of course there's a gestation period with with this so what do you want? What do you want to create? You know, Penelope Dreamweaver. We even have the moon here with Blaise D. Moon's daughter. So I feel like, you know, they're like, you know, yeah, make a wish. You have done beautiful things. You've created another tin here. What do you want? And I think one of the gifts that they want to give you, though, whether you want to or not, and right here with this warrior five, this five of wands, I feel like this is speaking of um, Chiron moving, going retrograde. <clears throat> And it does it, uh, I think, July 11th, I think is the date. And of course, it's in Aries, which is also where Mars is. So this has to talk about the masculine, yeah? So we can expect, you know, the masculine to be, and you know, the, this came out and crossed him. So there is like this... And of course, this is that part of ourselves as well, right? Not even just um, our divine masculine, but the masculine within ourselves. And that there is healing going on. And there is, you know, those places where we've been stuck, right? That's the, the challenge, is moving out of these waters. And, you know, all these faces and arms reaching out right like this i feel like this is like you when you're healing the collective right and so it's it's almost like it's hard for you to leave it behind but i feel like what they want you to do 
is to earth that energy because this is, you know, it's going to be very uncomfortable. Chiron going retrograde in the healing of the masculine. It is going to be very uncomfortable for all of us. All right. And so, you know, this change, right, we have beside the maker, which is the ace of pentacles, earth here. We have two fives on either side. And I love that we have the light shining through in a much similar way on both. What I feel like they want you to do is instead of you personally transmuting that energy, I feel like they want you to earth it. Right? Because we're going to be, be going through these big shifts. And I feel like, you know, this light that's coming through in both of these, and it lands on this rose right here. They want you to just give it to the earth. Go out and earth the energy. When we, you start feeling those emotions, right? I've had people, have had you all kind of talk about how you know when something's happening. Um, go out and earth yourself. And if you can get by water, even better, right? But, you know, he's holding this star here. And I feel like this is one of the gifts that they would like to give to you. Is that the earth is stronger, right? We've been going through this this shift. Earth is, is changing too. There's been a shift and she's stronger. You know, it's like I, I said, you know, and it's like um, in the collective reading that I did, <clears throat> uh, a certain card came out of the archetype stick, the Bardot, and it shows like a bunch of skulls, or, and they're, and I'm not going to go through all of that, but at any rate, <laughs> I feel like we're all, you know, through this earthing process, we're all connecting, yes, we're all connecting, let me see, I'm going to go ahead and get that out of here because I feel like it's important to this message. It's like this collective thing that's going on and, and it's taking the print, you know, it's, it's, it's building up Mother Earth and making her stronger and it's making us stronger and we, we can all like, you know, as a collective, transmute those energies. God. Of course I'm going to have a hard time finding it. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So yeah, I saw this as all of us who are going through this transformation, right? Earthing and it, like when it, one of the ways that um, I know I, and I, there are a lot of people who do this kind of meditation, send down roots into the earth until I reach the core. And recently when I was doing that, I, it's like I could see this, this, all these cords, all these threads together in the core of the earth. Like all of us had been, had sent down our roots and we were intertwining down there and, and connecting and, it's having this beautiful effect. And of course, you know, this is the Bardot. We're all in this transitional period. But this is helping us through it. It's beautiful. And, you know, look, we've got on either side of it, the empty room and agape. Right? This is all kinds of potential. And beautiful love. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, I think that, you know, they, they want you to share this. It's not your burden to carry alone anymore, right? Beautiful. And that is, you know, this is the dance, this is the Six of Cups. And, you know, it says born of joy. And we see all of these people 
standing around hand in hand and this same beautiful light shining forth right and this is part of you know what they think you would wish for maybe they know what you would wish for <laughs> But this is, you know, I feel like this is that wish coming true. But also just, you know, the connecting with soulmates, right? The, the Six of Cups is a soulmate card. And it's the next step after this Five of Cups, right? Being reborn. And it's very, you know, with our soulmates, you know, these are like stars, sisters, and brothers, and, and we're all going to lift each other up into this new, beautiful world that we're creating. And of course, you know, along, it's not necessarily going to be easy <laughs> with this Eight of Cups being our... Uh, what's kind of crossing us, the challenge, right? It might be hard to, oh wow. I missed I miss these two up, okay. But yeah. Yeah, that's. I feel like this is almost on a collective level, and it kind of went away over here, right? At any rate, what's stagnating you? And I feel like this is almost like you kind of coming out of that habit, maybe even. It might be a challenge to leave it behind. Right? You've carried it for a long time. All right. Beautiful. I love it. Let us get a piece of art. And then we will uh, get closing guidance. And then we will take a look at the underlying energies all together and see what kind of story they have to tell. Okay. For Pisces, please. Okay, to the right. Sailing boats, beautiful. I love this, this feels so airy. I see an, a 54 here, that might be significant to someone. But yeah, smooth, you know, smoother waters ahead kind of thing. And just looks light. Right? Like the, the winds of change are blowing through and, you know, although it might be, you know, there might be some conflict here and, and turmoil, but it's, it's really leading to a much more beautiful place. Yeah. And most of the time I do kind of feel like this has a message over here. There's heart healing here. There's very earthy energy, I feel. This part right here kind of reminds me of uh, the deck we're going to get closing guidance from. The Earth Element <laughs> card <laughs> kind of looks like that. So, yeah, I feel like this is just... Um, they're really the Earth energies are really feeling you, Pisces. Um, yeah, and this is, this is the time of the full moon in Capricorn. I feel like it's really like... This energy is digging you. Absolutely. All right. So, yeah, let's get the Devas of Creation. This is a new deck. And it's really beautiful. Pisces, please. July 5th through the 18th. 
closing guidance, please. The Pisces. That came out quick. And I feel like that's all, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen this, but look, it's like the twin of this one. <laughs> oh my goodness, and underneath this um, Four of Swords is the Ten of Cups. Heart song, so beautiful. Once again, that's the, you know, culmination of energy. I feel like we are so connecting. Okay, let's see what we got here. Beautiful. This is the abundance card, I think. Wow. Okay, let me get the book here. Yeah, this is the Deva of Abundance. Let me, I want to look real quick and see what the other one is. The Deva of Worlds. Wow. Wow, that is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. The golden reflection of the source flooding in through the spiral of creation manifests in the warm luminosity of this Deva, which is associated with Uriel, fire of God, regent of the sun. Through this being, we can request the divine abundance to manifest as universal largesse. I don't know what that is. Flowing into and around us. <laughs> something very large, I think. <laughs> The Deva's nature is to manifest the riches of the universe, but in so doing, it will illuminate those areas of challenge and limitation in our lives. We can help to prepare the ground by questioning old thought processes, where we expect little good to happen, and looking honestly at the events that have led to this consciousness of limitation. Living coherently, with our physical, emotional, and spiritual systems working in tandem, will allow the highest good to manifest in our lives. When abundance manifests, as it will, we can express our gratitude through generosity to others as well. You may like to try a meditative affirmation to manifest abundance. Imagine yourself in the center of a golden tunnel, feeling joyful and fulfilled, with the rich profusion of the universe flooding in to you. When this deva appears in your spread, it indicates that abundance is in your energy field. All you have to do is ask for it. Wow. Make a wish, y'all. <laughs> Beautiful. God, I love that. And, uh, you know, I feel like that kind of explains this Eight of Cups a little bit better. And even this... Um, Five of Wands as well. I love it when they fill in the spots that I kind of missed a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh, wow. And underneath that is Pluto transformation. Okay. I I'm going to quit. Okay. Four of Swords. Michael Jackson. Now, I always feel like, um, you know, this around his head that is manifestation love and friends okay we're gonna read a little bit from this one probably won't read it all I love all the, you know, it's like you're getting this big boost of confidence, too, which is going to help you overcome any of these challenges. All right. The day of, uh, that, blah, 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 blah. hold on. Yeah, we might as well just read it all. The Deva of Worlds is the bridge between the dimensions of the multiverse. Through its energy, energy, we may catch a glimpse through the veil of our limited human perception to the infinite beyond. Sometimes associated with Christ energy, the shimmering translucent Deva of Worlds brings source light to Earth for us to share. 
The Deva of Worlds deepens our understanding of what is important. In its presence, we recall our soul's connection with divinity. The Deva's appearance asks us how we may best bring spirit into our lives. It reminds us of our soul's purpose, the work we were put on earth to do. By doing what we love best, we follow our path with gratitude, and at the same time help to bring about the long-awaited quantum shift of consciousness on earth. When we look with despair at the state of the world and doubt that this shift can occur, Okay, I'm gonna stop because I feel like this, again, is a past energy. Uh, well, that was for the last. I think this is this is the past energy. You've done this. And this is where they are, you know, now you get the restoration, right? This is the flip side of it. This Four of Swords, restoration. And we see, you know, this kind of all of this energy and I feel like this is you know that earthing energy into the sky and the interconnectedness right and that ball in the center of the earth wow so I feel like you know this once again is acknowledging your contribution yeah okay <clears throat> Michael Jackson being unusual is not enough you must be remarkable remove yourself from contact with the ordinary the world is the dance floor of the creator oh yes okay and this is that red you know grounding kind of energy as well so I feel like this is um yeah, we, I'm, I got pulled to the uh, carousel in the back, and I feel like, you know, this is a breaking of the karmic cycle. This is telling us, once again, we get to create, right? Just, it, this is like <clears throat> asking you to really, you know, these are the dancers too, right? And the collective of pixies, they dance. That's their job. <laughs> so they want you to dance, absolutely they want you to dance and dancing is you know dancing and singing those are like i feel like everybody should should try to do it you know even people and most of the time the reason that we don't is because we felt silly somebody made us feel silly because we didn't dance well or something to hell with that right you know just it there's no way to feel sad when you're dancing you know not in, you know, the bad way. You know, there is sometimes in uh, interpretive dance, yeah, I feel like people can feel emotional and, you know, and stuff, but if it still feels good, I think, right? When you're moving, when you're singing, yes, it can feel emotional, but it's good. It feels good. Yeah, I think that's the best way. All right. So the friends and love and Frank here, I feel like there is this, and you know, of course with the friends, there is this collective, but I can't help but feel like, um, there's this light in the dark, right? And we see the, the moon here, hmm, which is dark actually, the star and the moon, I feel, and so maybe, you know, by the time the new moon rolls around, there might be some kind of um, something coming to light here, right? Because this, it's kind of, it's a subtle energy, I feel, but it's there all the same, you know? And like I said, it's like there's the orange and the purple in here. Yeah. Um... There's some kind of support here because we see him holding this guy up. Hmm. I feel like there's still like, um, I'm not getting much with that. It's like spirit just wants us to know 
that it's there kind of thing. Like, and not, uh, you know, I kept, I got this message once again. I really feel like we're not supposed to be holding on to the one person. I know it's hard because I'm still like, and it's not like we have to fight against that. But just try, you know, when you find yourself thinking about that certain person and wanting them, just remind yourself, you know, it's okay to kind of pine for that person and, and you know, love that person. But at the same time, keep yourself open, right, to all possibilities. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope that that was helpful. Um, I hope it resonated. If so, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Until next time, much love.